Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, interesting, <clears throat> our sport of boxing is it's, 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 it's out there. You know, it really is. You know, I told you guys, one of the things that when, when people say that in boxing always kind of irks me is this thing where you say the face of boxing, right? Because normally it has nothing to do with the best guy in boxing, sometimes not even close, right, to the best guy in boxing. It's just we should be calling it a popular guy, a guy that's kind of popular, right? Because the face of boxing is just a, a title that people are in, the, in boxing and the boxers are going for it. Let me give you an example of how ridiculous it can be, right? Because right now, Cornelo Alvarez is one of the faces of boxing, right? And he's been called that for a while, and he's never been the best one there. He's been close a couple of times, but categorically the best guy, not even close, because the best guy in boxing won't have people in their division that we consider better than them. And that's been the case with Canelo, no matter what division he's been in, if it's 154, 160, 168, 175. We think that there's people that's better than him. At 154, Jamel, Jamal, Charlo, and Demetrius Andre, two of which we think for sure was better than him. At 160, Demetrius Andre, for sure. Undisputed, he could have proved it, right? Golovkin was even, right? 168, Morel Benavides. 175, Bivol, who proved it, and better be of, for sure. And I'm probably missing a few names. But, you know, there's no categoric, you know, no, I'm the best, Canelo, for no, never, ever. And, uh, but he's the face of boxing. And he was on his way becoming the face of boxing after a one-sided loss to Floyd Mayweather. You know, that little, little bitty dude was 36 or 38 years old, one of them, right? Very old. Canelo was 23 at the time, right? So Canelo lost a one-sided fight and uh, subsequently became the face of boxing, right? Canelo's last opponent, who we didn't want him to see, we'd rather have seen Canelo versus Morel or Canelo versus uh, Benavides, right? Something of substance, so a good fight. He picked Berlanga after the WBA told uh, Morel, get the hell out of here and you go up and wait because Canelo's not going to fight you. We're going to replace you with somebody easier and then he'll fight him. And that's exactly what happened. So he fights Berlanga. Berlanga gets beat by one-sided decision. Uh, decision. Now, I'm hearing Belenga talk about he's going to be the face of boxing. <laughs> right? Then, I don't want to fight no damn Morel. Or not even Caleb Plant. I only want Mungia and somebody else. Conor McGregor or something. No, it wasn't that bad. But it was um, Mare um, Mungia and somebody else. Like, oh, Jamal Charlo. Who ain't fought for who knows why. We, he's, Jamal Charlo is somewhere, you know, in the crazy house right now. He's got to get himself together. Those are the people. I want to fight these two guys. I don't want to fight Morel because he's probably too good. Plant too good too. I don't want to fight them. And I want to be pay-per-view. And I want to be face of boxing. I'm going to be the new pay-per-view pay star. And I'm going to be the face of boxing because I just lost. And I ain't fighting none of the good ones in my division. What play playbook is he following? What blueprint is he following? That would be outlandish, outrageous to be hearing something like that. But his opinion is, well, shit, Canelo did it. No, that's, that's what's basically up. We got people out here that's after losses. Edgar Belanga, who I like when he's talking because we need, you know, the characters and stuff like that. But he's supposed to be somewhere shutting the hell up. But he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He's like, shoot, I'm lost. And I ain't black. So I can just say some stuff and, you know, it's going to be, you know, because we ain't, have you seen any brothers talking about face of boxing after losses and after wins, for crying out loud. Why is this kept? We got one brother who's been undisputed, did it the hard way, right? Young, got cheated, and people mad at him for suing. For suing because you got cheated. Missed, dude, missed weight. Coming in here with all kind of PEDs in the system. You know why? Because people don't want the truth. BTBG, baby. So, you know, Edgar Belanga, man. And here's another thing, since we're there. Is anybody going to say, call out Morel? 
like ever, anybody. Morel can't get fought. I was going to do a video about it. Edgar Belanger just said, I ain't fighting him. Canelo Alvarez, he was his mandatory for two and a half years. I ain't doing that. And even Benavidez ain't in a rush to do that. Only the one that has a, a, a pass to me is Benavidez. Because Benavidez and Morel were both in different sanctioning bodies. And they both uh, were Canelo, Canelo Alvarez mandatory. And we have a tendency when it's Canelo Alvarez to say, hey, if it's two guys, doesn't matter what sanction of bodies, right? Canelo got the belts and it's two guys that are good. Hey, you guys can fight instead of fighting Canelo. Canelo has an obligation to fight the guy for the WBC because that's his mandatory and the guy for the WBA because that's his mandatory. And those two sanction of bodies are supposed to be forcing him to do so. Since they don't do that, we try to tell two good guys to fight each other. We don't tell none of the ones that ain't that good. We don't tell them to have to, you got, hey man, you number five in line and you fight number seven. We don't do that. The ones that could possibly be Canelo that we know, hey, y'all need to fight each other. Why? Well, we're not in the same section, sanctioning bodies. Because y'all good. Morel and Benavides should fight each other. Not, and if they fight each other, I don't want to see it until it's worth something. Belts. They should not be fighting just because we're two guys that Canelo don't want to fight. They did the same thing with Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andre. Two different sanction bodies, WBC and the WBO in the middleweight division. Right? Canelo got the belts. We're supposed to fight for undisputed, and he ain't going to do it, and it, those guys should fight. You know, Demetrius Andrade, Jaime Munguia, Canelo Alvarez, and uh, Gennady Golovkin were all signed to the zone. After Demetrius Andrade fight, the zone wouldn't talk about the zone fighters. They would talk about Jamal Charlo. Just so they don't have to say Canelo's supposed to be fighting them. So these are the things I don't care that people don't like to hear them. But this is what's up. If you're despicable enough to want that kind of guy and uh, up at the top and he never has to fight anyone that's hard, then good for you. But it has nothing to do with sport. And I sure as hell ain't gonna act like I don't see it. Edgar Belanga should be embarrassed to say something like that right now. You just lost. He's supposed to be somewhere shutting the hell up. And he definitely ain't supposed to be talking about uh, a pay-per-view star and or the face of boxing. Do some stuff and earn that title. Matter of fact, let's just do away with the damn title. Because it's not really a title. Do away with it. You know, there's some people, the best person in boxing, Alexander Uzik, he should be it. Terrence Crawford, they should be it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the monster. You know, people that we know are awesome. Those should be the ones, regardless of if people are coming to see them. Because sometimes when you're that good, people don't come see you because you're going to win. You see what I'm saying? And people go see the ones that, you know, well, I like this guy. And I, you know, let him fight somebody easy. We just, we, you know, we'll be behind them. Man, whatever. Anyway, no, Edgar Belanga. No pay-per-view star and or face of boxing. Win some fights. Clean out a division. Do something, you know, do something, and then maybe. Because, you know, the way you talk smack, kind of like that. I ain't going to lie about that. But other than that, you know, with some substance. If we're going to have this face of boxing title, let's put some substance behind it, especially when Canelo's gone. Can we do that? Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.